Windows Server 2022. Welcome back everybody. I'm Prakash Budan, your trainer for this entire series. In today's session, we are going to learn how to monitor any client's login and log off in your client server architecture. This is the major responsibility of any system administrator or any IT head in any client server architecture to actually really monitor the client's login and log off. There might be so many security issues. Sometimes you need to go through the log. When did the last user successfully log in or log off? Now for that, I'm going to show you detailed steps how to monitor clients login and log off using a Windows Server 2022 now in order to do that uh, we have to go through the script first actually I have already created the script so that it saves the time now in order to monitor your login and log off before we deploy this via group policy the file has to be created first so let's see first we are going to create the script that should be saved as a batch file I do believe you understand that because that is going to ex execute it so that's why I have created one script over here in order to log in now let's see what is the script in order to monitor or keep the re record of your login in your clients or architecture this means over here is echo computer name username date time because we would like to see entire Thing in detail and this is the name of my computer that means the server and this is the name of that folder where the file is going to be generated and this file we are going to save it in a form in a name of your login.bat okay and it will generate the file report in text so that's why now this file has to be saved with the extension your bat okay now let's go to the same location and I'm going to write login.bat now this is for the login now if I have to show you for the log off okay for the log off it is same thing only the difference is that we're going to write the log off rest of the scripts are same so I don't want to waste your time okay now this file also you'll have to save it as a sorry we'll have to save as I went to the page so go to save as okay and write log off dot bat okay now so two files are generated see here now and this this file which we created in a notepad this file and this login we don't have to save it at this moment this you can keep it anywhere our prime concern is to create this file you having an extension BAT if I edit it it gives the same text that we created now this is the first part now after creating this batch file you will have to save it giving a particular permission to the authenticated user okay log file edit it again I like to make sure okay name of that folder is log file this is the name of the server that is going to be stored and time and date username and computer name is going to display entire thing in a detail so it will be easy for the system administrator to monitor as well okay so this has to be done if you are working in a client server architecture so now the second work after creating the script what you need to do is you will have to save this folder okay let's go to the properties I'm gonna save it home advanced sharing permission remove everyone and you can add it over here authenticated user authenticated users okay so i gave it okay what do you want to give change this much is more than enough since we're in a lab environment even if you give the full power permission it's okay but in your real scenario you'll have to be careful okay now next one in security also you'll have to add it okay now this in security also you'll have to edit it and you'll have to add authenticated user authenticated user so we are going to add it okay you can give any permission because you are in a lab environment in your architecture you'll have to be careful whenever you are signed with the any permission and the next thing what you need to do over here you need to make sure this path okay this is the network part because when we deploy this via group policy we need to copy and paste this part actually that means the file that we have stored in a form of batch file in order to monitor your login and log off it will ask you the network part okay so for our convenience i'm going to copy it so it's okay at this moment now two works are done number one we created the batch file number two we save the folder having appropriate permission to the authenticated users now the next task is to deploy it into the group policy 
Now, in which group policy you would like to have this? It's better to give to the entire domain. Of course, of course it will be easy for you to mo monitor the log of entire clients, login and log off in your clients of architecture. So let's go to the create a group policy and it's better that you link over here. It will be easy for you. See, it's not mandatory to do this way. You can have this particular group, particular computers, particular objects, you know, particular groups, particular users. It is up to you. As I would like to repeat again, since we are in a lab environment, in order to make this video more shorter, I have used the domain. That means it will get linked to the entire domain's group policy. So let's give over here login and log off. Okay. You can write any name as per your convenience. Now, so we are going to edit this one now. Edit it and then we are going to the policies. Don't forget that one is for the users. Okay, that means we would like to monitor the objects login and log off. That means the users login and log off. So that's why we are not going to do the setting in the computer configuration. If you remember my previous video, that was the monitoring of the computer where the user has logged on. So that's why we did in our previous video from the computer configuration. But right now we would like to deploy as a login and log off. So that's why we have to select the users configuration. Then go to the windows. If you see over here scripts, remember we have two scripts so over here also. It's a pretty fine, just in the form of your name list, tag list. So let's go to the logon properties. You'll have to add that. Browse it. And remember I told you, you'll have to go through the network path. Okay, so I'm gonna give it over here this path and enter that is the login that means we have written a login it's okay now okay apply okay that is for the login well what about the log off well first we'll have to add for the log off as well so for the log off see the address you press enter this is the log off okay now that's done okay now uh, we are going to update this group policy because I do understand that you all know the group policy refresh interval. Okay, so that's why we don't want to waste our time or I would like to save your time actually. So that's why I'm doing this update forcefully. So after updating this group policy that we deploy in order to monitor your login and log off, let's go to that particular folder where we have shared last time the two batch file and make sure that those two files still exist over there. Okay. So let's go to the log file. You see two files are there. Now, as soon as any client login, that log will be listed over here. Remember, we have given to save the file in a server in a log file with a name extension txt. So that file will get generated over here in a txt so that it will be easy for you to monitor. Now the time has come to test this one. So let's go to the client that I have over here. Windows 10 client is there. So let's log in using one of the account. Of course, we are using the same account all the time. It saves our time. Okay, let's log in via this one user F1. Now, as soon as this user log in, log will be generated over there automatically. See, let's go to that server. Okay, let's go to that folder where we created the file last time. Okay, batch file. Let's go to C drive. Let's go to log file. Now, refresh it. It's taking time, no problem. Okay, so let's do over here also. We'll log off and log in again over here. Okay, or sometime it might be asking you to restart the system. It happens sometime. So now let's update it again. And we are gonna go to the client. Oh, okay, it has already. Now, we'll log off and log in again. Okay, otherwise we'll have to restart the system. Wait for a few more seconds. Now the server is okay. Let's go to the file. See, already generated file. That means right now that user log off the system. See, now log off is already now monitored over here. So let's go to the server. That means let's go to our server log off. Now let's see who did the log off in this computer. Who? This user. When? This day, date and time, entire things are recorded over here. Now let's go for the 
your login as well okay so let's log in once more time in this client and then we will see that it has successfully log on that means monitor the login as well because we have given the script for both the tasks one is for the login and second one is for the log off so let it log in fully then we'll go back again to the server in that folder and you'll notice that login event is also generated in the form of your text file so let it go full it's taking time no problem welcome okay by the time we'll go to server and make sure that the event is generated see successfully it's done congratulations now go to login who logged in just now this user where in this computer and at what time this time okay so it's a quite important you know task of any system administrator whoever works as an it head in any architecture any it might be your you know uh, using a previous version of server operating system or it might be the server 2000 days 22 trust me guys the steps are same so i hope it was easy and it will add something to your knowledge in order to work as a monitoring purpose for the client's login and log on in your client's server architecture so if you find it fruitful please do like and subscribe thank you